everyone. My name is Angela Thomas, and I'd like you to envision a world where everyone looks like this. They may seem startling at first, but let me assure you, all these people are tapped into a rich environment filled with new experiences, people to meet, and much more. This environment is known as the metaverse. The metaverse is a developing concept that can redefine our existing reality, taking it beyond just entertainment and media. You might have heard of virtual reality before, but this technology is far more advanced. The metaverse is a mix of not only virtual reality, but also augmented and mixed reality. And this mix allows users to have an extended array of abilities, creating endless possibilities regardless of time, space, or even physical attributes. Now, these three realities are actually being implemented by various different companies right now. And the first one is virtual reality. Virtual reality is when a user is fully immersed within a digital environment. Augmented reality, which is the following, um, is when a user is able to view technological or digital aspects overlay their physical environment. And the final is mixed reality, which is when the user is able to interact with both the virtual and the physical attributes in their surroundings. This blend of reality, once again, allows users to have endless possibilities within the metaverse, allowing them to travel across the world or even meet new people across the world. Now, I'm excited about all of this because in the near future, I could come home one day and see my parents or listen to my parents say they're about to head out to the groceries. But instead of grabbing their car keys, they grab their VR goggles. They prepare to take a tour of a Walmart or a Costco, and I see them smile as they see the exact cereal that's missing from our smart pantry at the entrance of the Walmart they're standing at. But wait, this cereal is 310 calories. They get a flashing signal on the right of their cart, as you can see here indicating to them that this is not a healthy option, but they'd see the healthy options highlighted on the arrays and rows of other products next to them. Doesn't this sound far more interesting than your current shopping experience? It definitely does to me. And this is, shows the beauty of the, of the metaverse, because all of this technology, whether it's a calorie meter or a smart pantry indicating what's missing, is present in our society today. It's so close to our actual reality that I'm very much excited and you definitely should be because it's so close and will enhance many of our experiences in our daily lives, whether it's just shopping or, again, traveling the world. Now, when you think of technology, you might think of the environmental repercussions. While with the, meta with the metaverse is actually proven in studies to deliviate and become less prevalent. Whether it's deforestation or pollution when creating a simple neighborhood, in the metaverse, this would be solved with a couple lines of code. Instead of multiple trees and forests being taken down to build a single neighborhood, a couple lines of code and a click away would form the entire neighborhood within the metaverse. Again, taking down the environmental problems. That definitely draws many of the people striving for eco friendliness within the technological industry towards the amazing metaverse platform. Now, based on what I've said so far, who here would be interested in joining the metaverse? Show of hands. Great. So just like you, a majority of the human population would be interested in joining this expansive platform. But this would cause the decline of various different industries. For example, think about planning a trip to Niagara Falls for the spring break. You'd have to book plane tickets, a hotel room, and then plan out the various uh, miscellaneous activities you do the day of. Well, with the metaverse, this would change drastically. As I'd be a couple clicks away and a transaction away through viewing Niagara Falls at whatever time of day, whatever season, climate, whatever conditions I'd want, all I need is to put on my VR goggles and have a strong Wi Fi connection. Now, this allows for industries to grow in some ways, but the majority of them to decline. For example, the tourism industry, like I just explained, and construction with the neighborhood example that I explained before, would decline. But many people view this as the betterment of society, as the technological industry would grow, allowing for humans to evolve in a way just towards a more technological aspect. Now, from this, 
you might also question how a society themselves, their perceptions, would be affected. Well, many people, as you know, may say things online that they would not be comfortable saying, comfortable to say in person. And this is because of the types of environments that are built on social media and various other platforms. And in parallel to this, there are others who find an escape in these types of platforms, whether it's streaming or gaming, they take it as a way for them to express themselves online while kind of straying away from the harsh realities that they deal with on a daily basis. Now, the metaverse's producers have taken into account both of these perspectives, and they've actually addressed the various issues and the needs that the public wants to be addressed from the metaverse through the creation of highly enhanced avatars. Now, these avatars would allow for various different experiences, whether it's just a simple meeting like this. And the metaverse has addressed this perspective once again by making sure that these avatars have enhanced emotions and ability to interact with one another. So anyone who wants that human interaction to be there or the escape from reality would get that through these 3D avatars. And the, any, any possibility for negative emotions or negative activities happening on social media would be limited as well with various rules and regulations put into place, considering, again, this platform would be taken by many of you in the audience. Considering all of this, you can see that there is a clear tiering balance of advantages and disadvantages to joining and creating this platform. And this just adds a new dimension to the human population, again, with these perspectives. And this metaverse environment, whether it is focusing on the advantages and disadvantages, is a virtual environment. And it bridges the gap between the technology and the various physical barriers. Yeah, I could be standing here, putting on a VR goggle headset, and visiting someone, physically greeting someone across the world in Thailand, for example. Now, think of this metaverse, this expansive platform, as a simple 3D Zoom meeting. Now, on a normal Zoom meeting, you'd struggle to convey your opinions or emotions, or even greet the person you're talking to through the screen. You'd simply have to wave to them and kind of crave for more, more interaction with them. Well, with the metaverse or this 3D Zoom meeting, we'd be able to stand up, shake their hand, pat them on the back after a long, hard day of work. Doesn't that sound far more exciting than just clicking on the Zoom link? Thank you.